Adrienne Borgerson is editor-in-chief of the online magazine La Fashionista Compassionista, the leading online fashion magazine dedicated to all vegan and cruelty-free fashion and beauty brands. The magazine started in 2014 when Adrienne and her friend, fashion designer Lois Eastland, inspired by their love of animals and commitment to cruelty-free lifestyle, recognized the need for a platform dedicated to demand for ethical and stylish alternatives in fashion and beauty. I'm here with Adrian Borgerson from La Fashionista Compassionista magazine, and today we're going to talk about cruelty-free cosmetics. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Nastika. How are you? Very good. You? I'm really good. What do you have for us today? I have a table full of cruelty-free choices. Mm -hmm. The the thing about a lot of cosmetics and hair and skincare products that people might not know is that many, many of them are tested on animals, and even more of them have animal products in them. And when you're living a cruelty-free lifestyle, we don't want to use that. Mm -hmm. So the premise of the magazine and what I teach people is that there are choices everywhere. And all you have to do is know the brands and know where to look. So I wanted to show you some of my favorite brands. Right, let's do it. Okay, so first off we have Shea Terra. Shea Terra has over 300 products in their line. Not all of them are vegan, but these are a couple that are. They, we have a skin oil and we have African black soap. African black soap is actually one of my favorite things. It's made from the ash of burnt plants mm -hmm. and they mix it with coconut oil and shea butter and they make oh. a soap into it and it leaves your skin really clean and soft so. and it's totally natural. I love it. Very nice. Nice little tip for everybody. Mm. We have some nail polishes here from a company called Joshik. And these nail polishes are completely non-toxic and they come in these beautiful colors. I, yeah, I have purples here because that's what I like, but they come in a wide, wide range of colors. Um, nice. Then there's cosmetics, there's your makeup. Yep. We have Kate McNabb, which is all clean. Um, Kate McNabb can be found on katemcnabb.com. Um, they have very beautiful colors and they have sets and they're all very reasonably priced. This is a company called English Minerals and they are based in London, and you can find them online at EnglishMinerals.com. And I love this packaging. It looks like a little pretty English garden, and all their makeup is very natural, clean, um, mineral makeup. So mm -hmm. it's very easy to put on, and you're not putting chemicals on your skin, you know, just to have makeup on your skin. So moving on to um, a company called Johnny Concert. They do highly pigmented eyeshadows, and they have these really fabulous, funky colors. Here's the Here's the purple one. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. It's really, really cool. Purple's my favorite color. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> now back to some skincare products. This okay. is a company called Replair. They're 100% vegan. Mm -hmm. It was developed by a dermatologist, okay. you know, so someone who you know knows what they're talking mm -hmm. about, right? Um, and it's very high in antioxidants. So this is a face wash and a toner. This is a little bit more on the high end side. You know, okay. a set will run you about $100, but I mean, it's really gonna do wonderful things for your skin. And this is at replair.com. Right. Uh, moving on to one of my favorite companies. This is called the Fanciful Fox. And they do, they have a wide variety of skincare products. They have these beautiful soaps. I wanna pick up the oh, soaps. Oh, that is beautiful. They're, the mold of the soap is oh, just wow. absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of Lush, uh, Lush Cosmetics. They have, yeah. right? That's Lush another, is a, another vegan. Uh, is a really great company, mm -hmm. yes. Um, they are, this is a mother and daughter team that are that do everything they, in, in Brooklyn, New York, mm -hmm. and they create everything in micro batches. Um, so everything is fresh and clean and there's oh. no preservatives, there's no junk or anything in it. Mm -hmm. So we have shampoo and conditioner, we have lip balms, we have facial scrubs, we even have deodorant. So Fanciful Fox, fancifulfox.com, they're fantastic. That's great. Um, one of my favorite makeup companies, of course, is Arbon, which is a completely <gasps> mail order. I use it every day. Do you really? I do, seriously. I, lo I, I love my- I do the five-step yeah. thing in the morning. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, their, it's amazing. Yeah, their eyeshadows are also very high quality, and they have this lovely lipsticks and all these beautiful colors. Mm. This is just a very small sampling. And their mascara is- I just bought one. The best <laughs> mascara. Yes. on the market mm -hmm. that's all non-toxic and, and of course cruelty free. And they have amazing it's shampoos called, too. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. I think this is called A Long Story. Oh. So if you can find that, definitely pick that up. And the last indie brand I'm gonna show you is, is In Harmony. It's also created mm -hmm. by a dermatologist. It has a full line of, this is face wash, 
uh, body moisturizer, facial moisturizers, and they also have um, mineral, a mineral makeup brand oh. that are shimmery and beautiful, and they're all clean, and they're all non-toxic. I really love the lip glosses. Mm -hmm. I wear these every day. It's just these beautiful colors. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> and I also wanted to mention, they have this um, makeup brush that's all vegan. Now, they're one of many um, all vegan brushes, but I wanted to mention that vegan brushes are synthetic. And synthetic brush oh. brushes are better than animal hair brushes because they don't harbor bacteria like the animal brushes see, do. You wouldn't normally think about these things when you're going shopping for makeup, that there's so many products that currently have animal um, Parts yeah, in there something or other in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is uh, this is a. I mean, shows you that there's uh, so many options out there that are yeah. cruelty free. Right, and I just I wanted to show um, these are all indie brands. Mm -hmm. When you go to Sephora, you can still shop cruelty free. They do mm -hmm. exist, and when you go into Sephora, you can find things like Urban Decay. Urban Decay, I think, has one of the best um, foundations and concealers on the market. It has this really excellent glide, and it goes on smooth, and it stays on, and it's wonderful. And I love their, their blushes and everything about them. Um, some people need or like to play with their eyebrows, I do. <laughs> and Anastasia has recently gotten the Leaping Bunny certification. They're all cruelty free, so oh. I love Anastasia. And I think that if you really like big, bold, beautiful, you know, almost fake lash looking mm -hmm. mascara, Too Faced, better than sex. Oh, let's check this one out. <laughs> I knew you were gonna <laughs> wanna look at that one. Let me see what that looks yeah. like, okay. <laughs> it's a really good formula. It's, it's very high quality mm. and, um, nice. and I love it. That's great. So where can we uh, find more information about all these kind of products here? All of these products I write about in my magazine and you can subscribe at www.lafcnyc.com. Thank you so much for You're coming and, showing, and sharing all of this with us. This was fun. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. Mm -hmm.